Okay, so we're at midpoint. Um, this is a good point to take a break, step back from the actual detailed information and to review where we're at right now and where we're going, okay? I want to talk about balance. Um, we talked about cash crops and self-reliance and all those things are necessary and what you may want to do. But think in terms of the reality of the world that we live in. Again, I'm going to bring in economics here. Don't let me bore you with this. But there, this is so, so key to your future, to your family, to the family, uh, to the future of the world out there in terms of farming. And I, I don't want to be dramatic, but I do want to put it to you many times in many different ways so that you get this. But I want you to get the pricing, the same as the low pricing of the chemical food right now, and get it, put it into the market so that your food, your divine offerings, your beautifully... Um, a sculptured uh, produce is making it out to everybody, everybody out there. We, I don't want to produce elitist farmers in this course. This is not my intention. This is not my intention for the future of the world. And of course, you can have your own intention. Uh, and in that case, you know, you can please just go on with the with the other lectures. But to just hammer this point home, uh, we want to be farmers for everybody. We want to be able to provide to everyone that is out there because we have been so selfish. Uh, we're talking about nowadays in the near f in the near past, and it has been accumulating like this since some years ago. And is it good for us to continue like this? And I would think to say, no, definitely not. We want to be there for each other, and we want to be fair. And we want to create a better world coming out of this crazy spin that we are in right now. This is May uh, 2020. So I want to impress upon you the economics that you do what you can to tighten up your operation, to get your price as low as possible. Do not become elitist. Do not set yourself up as some special uh, provider just for the very rich. They've already got everything they, they need. How about all the rest of us down here? And I say us because I'm just an online instructor. I'm not making a lot of money either. So I, you know, I have to afford what I can. Uh, so that's the first thing is economics. Okay, now, balance. We've been talking about cash crops, and these are kind of elitist crops in a sense, you know, that uh, mostly you're going to find people with more money being able to purchase these things. If you get your economics down again, I won't be labor, but get your economics down again, and, and maybe you'll have more of an audience. Now, here's what I'm thinking on balance. Provide a good about, let's say 50% cash crop, 50% regular vegetables are what you would normally want to farm if you were not thinking about cash crops. And I've got lots of ideas in here, and I hope they're enough, and there's going to be more ideas as we go along, so please stay tuned, or suggest to me more ideas, and I will go out and look for those, okay? Um... But instead of babbling on, I want to say, um, look to the rest of this course. This is advanced farming, so I want to give you a full picture here. Look at the rest of the course, and you will see regular crops mostly that I'm showing from different places around the world, talking with farmers from different places around the world, how they do this and that. You can agree with how they do things, you can disagree, but look at the crops. This is the main thing I want you to get, okay? Because we need balance in everything. Think about this present world. Uh, you think there's going to be perhaps another worldwide crash, maybe several, maybe depressions, maybe uh, food shortages, maybe water shortage, maybe shortages of every kind you can imagine. I think it's more likely than unlikely, don't you? I mean, look at how crazy things are getting. So we want to prepare ourselves for the world which is coming and the world that we do now live in. Okay, and quit you know, putting our head in the sand like it's not going to uh, continue happening like this. We want to actually take the stance that it could get actually much worse than this, and we're ready for it. We don't run into a panic when things uh, don't go our way and we're not making, you know, a million dollars uh, every season. We want to be able to hunker down, but to be okay. We want to have a balance in our crops. 
uh, because make no mistake, if, if things go into a tailspin again and people have very little money and there's food shortages, water shortage, and people are really dying to, to, to eat and you can make deals, all kinds of different deals with people. I'm just giving you a black scenario here, but bear with me on this. Uh, and you do work out arrangements with, with that folks can eat for ex exchange for labor, whatever, whatever you want to work out. Let's let's look at that scenario. And how are you going to survive doing that? Okay, you want to have a balance of crops. Uh, you not many people are going to be paying for crops, so you want to give them the staples, the staple crops. You know the things that they're going to live on every day: your potatoes and your root crops, and some of your greens and whatnot. Your cash crops are going to disappear on the market pretty much unless you can get that price down again now here's the formula when you get your economics down you know do you want to have uh, a very top price and sell a percentage of your crops or do you want to have a normal regular price a low price where you're not making much profit but you sell all of your crop so consider this this economic consider this future scenario i'm just running through it really quickly because i don't want to bore you here uh we want to get on with the farming and talk about what we love to talk about but the scope of this course has got to be greater than just hey let's grow this let's grow this i'm not a youtube video i am somebody who wants to give you a holistic picture of what to expect and what you can do as a hero in the picture and i don't mind using that term if you're a farmer nowadays, you're a hero. You're providing staples because this is going to be more key than anything else, even more key than the Internet because people cannot eat a website, right? So, okay, let's let's stop here and, and get on with the next. But, uh, you know, we'll go on with, uh, with our regular crops, and so hopefully this will add to your decision capability. Thanks.